If I asked you to open up a brand new Notion account, if you haven't already, you should, by the way, um, and you open it up and what you're going to be looking at is literally a blank page, you're going to be at a total loss for what to do. Your first thought's going to be, how am I going to manage everything with this? What am I supposed to do with a blank page like this? Now, all you really need to do is learn my Bulletproof Work Management System in Notion, which I'm going to give you. And along the way, I'm going to give you the choice. I'm going to give you the lessons that will teach you just how to use what I've created. And that should be enough for most of you to do what you need to do. But some of you are going to be curious. Some of you are going to want to know how to customize it and evolve it further to make it more your own. And I'm going to teach you how to do that stuff just as well. And then for those who are interested, I'm going to teach you how to build one of these templates from a, from a totally blank page. In the last video, I shared with you why I believe that you're struggling uh, with a lot of this kind of stuff with keeping on top of everything. And I shared with you my theory that it's not necessarily that you have more than you can handle. I think you can handle a lot. It's, I think, more likely that you just need a better system than what you have for how you're using the app that you're using. And for that matter, I'm going to give you a new app to use if you're not already using Notion uh, and the whole framework for how to use it to accomplish everything you need to do to, as I said, capture, clarify, organize, reflect, and engage with everything you need to do so that you can do it without all the stress you have now. Now, in case you haven't watched the first video yet, please go back and watch the first video. You're missing a whole lot of context for what I'm going to share with you in the rest of this video. Now let's talk about how you can get fast results, a quick win, if you will, so that you can start right away seeing the benefits of a system like this and how you can start realizing those benefits right away. So in ClickUp or Asana or whatever you might be using, it's easy enough to add a task uh, and you can add it very quickly uh, and just write up what that task is, what you need to do, like reconcile that B of A account with those sub accounts associated with it, right? But there's nothing in that task itself that's going to encourage you to think about when the, does this really need to get done? Why is it important to me? What does it mean to me to get this task done? Some of that context may come from the specific relationship you have with the client you're doing it for. So like I said, you'll write a title and, and do this. If you have a system of your own that you're using, whip it out. Start doing this and so you can follow along with me a little bit more clearly. And you're going to title a task, Reconcile B of A Credit Card Account. Right, we'll just use B of A as the example. And maybe you'll assign it to yourself and maybe you'll give it a due date of this Friday. Then Friday comes and you sit down and you know go to do the task and you realize, oh crap, I, I don't have the statements, right? Now I gotta go request the statements from the client. I should have done that three days ago when I first created the task, but the problem is you didn't take the time to clarify everything. What do I need to do next? when I'm starting this task, the next thing I need, and if you took the time to ask yourself and then answer that question, you might've said, oh, I need to get the statements, right? Do I have the logins so I can get them myself? If not, I need to request them from the client. Either way, if I'm scheduling the due date of this Friday, I need to make sure I have the statements before then. Otherwise, I just wasted time, right? Mine and the client's, because now I've got a first request it from the client. It's Friday. I probably won't get it till Monday, you know, and I don't know when I'm going to be able to do it because I don't know when I'm going to get the statements from the client. Now, let me show you what this looks like in my Bulletproof Management System, my Bulletproof Work Management System. Now, since this is not just an app, but a complete work management system, every time you create a new task for a client, you're going to be prompted to clarify a bunch of stuff as you cr go to create that task. And again, I'm gonna caution you against the thinking that you don't have time to do this. You don't have time in general right now because you're not doing this kind of stuff, I promise you. Give me a try for 30 to 90 days of doing this regularly and seriously and sincerely. And I promise you, if it doesn't work out for you, your, your misery is and, and your stress is fully refundable, right? So I get, of course, but I think you get the picture. I'm, I'm going to strongly encourage you to please, please, please give this a chance, okay? Um, now, let's cut to my screen and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about, right? So we're going to go over here to Wayne Enterprises, my client, Wayne Enterprises. What I want to show you is a new task, right? So a couple, this is just different views of the same stuff, right? I'll get into the tour once we get started on the course. But for now, just very quickly, let's create something new. And we're going to go to the task template. So we're going to say new task template master, okay? And I'm going to expand this so we can focus on it. And like I said, we're going to title the task. So this part's no different than ClickUp or Asana, whatever you might already be using, right? So we're going to say reconcile, oops, I can't spell, reconcile, uh, what did I say, B of A, right? Uh, B of A, right? Some people like to put spaces in there. Credit card account, okay? Um, by default, everything comes in with a status of inbox, right? So take the time. This is the first phase of clarifying, and it's very quick, right? It's just, 
where is this at? Is, do I want to leave it in the inbox? If I'm in a real hurry and I want to go back and do the clarification later, fine. I just, I've, I've captured it. I'll go back later to clarify it, right? So now I'm breaking this down in terms of the language, right? But let's say I'm, I got to work on this, right? So I'm going to say it's scheduled, right? And what that means is as soon as I do that, that means there better be a date here. Notice there's two different dates. One is the due date DO, the other one is the due DUE date. Right? This is a distinction that I've never seen made in any project management app that I've worked with. And like I've said, there have been many. Right, But this is so important. It's such a little tiny detail. It's so important. When am I going to do this next? When's the next time I'm going to work on this? Versus when do I have to get the whole damn thing done by? Right? So let's say the due DUE date is Friday. Right? But I need to start this today. Right? October 16th happens to be the day I'm recording this video. Okay, so that's the first quick bit. As you can see, this takes two seconds to do, especially if I'm not sitting here explaining it, <clears throat> right? Now we're going to expand these and we're going to answer We're going to take the time to answer these questions. So I'm going to click and drag just to highlight them all because then as I expand one, it will expand all of them. What do I need to do to complete this, right? Now here, I'm going to use some of Notion's powerful tools, right? So let's just say slash to do so I can get a little checkbox, right? What do I need to do to complete this? So here I'm just writing a quick outline. What does this look like when it's done? So I'll start off high level, get every month reconciled with the sub account balances consolidated. By the way, I have a video on how to do this in case you uh, are interested. Um, with the sub account balances consolidated to the master account. Because th those of you who know what I'm talking about here, if you don't do that, you're left with these permanent differences in the sub accounts because the payments post to the master account. And anyway, you get the idea, right? Now, in order to do that, what do I need to do in order to do that? Make sure I have the statements. Okay, and then schedule the time to work on it okay and so this part could vary maybe I have the login so I can I'll indicate that here I have the login so I can get the statements or like in my case I didn't have the clients login so I'll change this and say request the statements from so-and-so and by the way if I'm using the CRM in my bulletproof notion system I can at tag any contact here I can say, um, I don't think I have them in here actually, but I can add tag them. So that will take me right over to their contact information in a click. So I can go click on the email link, which will open up my email app. So I can shoot the email over saying, hey, I need the statements, right? Or if it's Slack, whatever it is I use to communicate with them. Okay. Um, so request the statements from Ron and schedule the time to work on it, right? Grammar, schedule. Okay. What's next? Uh, what do I need to do next, right? Request the statements. The idea of this is to stop and think, what is the very next thing I need to do? And in this case, what it's going to prevent me from running into is that scenario I described earlier where I get to Friday and planning on getting it done, and now I can't even start it, right? Request the statements. And then I'll even say, follow up as needed to make sure... I have them, I'm going to say by Thursday, I want to make sure I have them by Thursday so that I can do the work on Friday. I don't want to wait till Friday, right? This is what I mean. Like you take the time to really think these things through. This is such a simple task, but it still saves so much time to take the time to do this. And again, if I'm not slowing down to explain it all, I'd be done already, right? When do I need to work on this? right away. I can keep this really simple. I don't need to write a novel, right? I just need enough for me to know. And the reason right away is what I'm going to clarify here in this last question. How important is this? What does completing this mean to me, right? So let's just do some bullet points. Uh, this is one of my first clients ever. And the relationship is super important to me. They are a pleasure to work with. And I always want to please them. Okay, that's one important piece. The other important piece is Ron mentioned that he needs this ASAP. So his books are clean because he wants to get a tax projection done 
by his CPA, right? So these two pieces of information tell me it's super high priority. So now what I'm going to do is next due date, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to say, let's, just, let's say I went and requested the statements, right? So I'm going to check that off and I'm going to update the next due DO date till tomorrow, right? I'm going to set a reminder. I'm going to include a time of 7 a.m., because that's when I like to get these, right? And I have my notification settings configured in Notion that I'll get an email as well as an in-app notification, right? Um, and I like getting these emails. I call them throwaway emails. I'm going to delete them, but at least I, I get a reminder in my inbox tomorrow morning at 7 that this is here. And honestly, the fact that I took the time to write out these answers, I'm not going to have to remember that I said this was high priority. It's going to stick just because I took the time to think about it that deliberately. But what I'm going to do now down here is... Uh, at tomorrow, just so I'm clear, oops, wrong way. At tomorrow, I want the date, right? So the at sign, you can tag a generic dynamic date here. At tomorrow, follow up and make sure they got the email about having the statements by Thursday. See now, in your Asana, ClickUp, whatever you're using, you have like a little description area, which is where you might do this. Here I have a whole freaking page and I can provide all kinds of context. And as you get further and further through the course, you'll see what I mean by that and why it actually is important. Because this is a simple enough task that I won't need a whole lot of context. Um, but even just making these notes for myself, just it makes it so clear. Again, it sort of ingrains the status of this thing into my brain. Um, so I don't have to worry. I can check off this box too because I've scheduled the time to work on it, right? So the next follow-up, the next due date is going to be tomorrow. And down here, I clarified what I need to do about it tomorrow, right? Then by tomorrow, let's say I get the statements. Great. Then the next due date gets updated to Friday, right? And down here, I might make a remark. Of course, I'll check off that I've um, got the statements, right? So, And that reminds me, see here, I'm clarifying even further, right? Let's add one. Confirm they have been received. And right now it's very clear to me that what I'm talking about is the statements. And it should be clear enough anyway because it's right above. But again, clear is kind, unclear is unkind. So confirm the statements have been received. Because if you're like me, by tomorrow when I get here, I'm and I'm trying to think of a million things i got to do, although that's gotten a lot better because of this system, the, uh, the simple reality is this just makes it that much more clear. I'll thank myself tomorrow for having taken the extra second to be this clear about exactly what I need to confirm has been received, right? And so if, if I can check this off, because now it's tomorrow and I've got it, then I just change my next DO date to Friday, because I know I have what I need and I'm ready to go, ready to rock and roll, right? By the way, one thing you should probably do in a case like this that I've learned the hard way to do is download the statements right now, like when it's tomorrow when I've just gotten them, not Friday, and open each one up. Make sure you got all exactly the statements that you need. I've had clients send me, you know, what were according to their title, two different statements, but when I opened them up, they were copies of the same month. You know, don't assume your clients are going to be as thorough as you. Confirm. Trust, but verify, right? So confirm the statements have been received. If you wanted to go a step further on clarity, just say open each one and make sure you really have everything. If you really wanted to, you could go down further, go a step further and say, I need January, February, March, April, May, June. You can give yourself a little checklist here. July, August, September, October is the month we're in, right? So I can do this. So this way, as I'm doing this part of the process, tomorrow when it comes and I've got the statements, I open up each one, I just check off, yeah, we got January. Yes, we got February. It's just, it's extra clarity. And like I said, even though it seems like a waste of time to do this, I promise you, it's buying you back more time down the road. For example, imagine getting to Friday and realizing that you have two copies of March and no April right? You're only going to be able to get so far because, of course, you know the reconciliation process. It's not like I can skip that month, do the others, and go back to it. Once I'm missing a statement, the whole process halts, right? So that's the kind of clarity that I'm talking about. And I'm using a very simple example of a simple task. So I realize this might seem like overkill, but I actually can promise you it's not overkill. What I did was not quite this detailed. I'm just trying to show you like how far you can take this, but it wasn't far off right? It had most of this. Probably the most important thing that I did here was this part. 
clarifying that because of the relationship and because of what the client specifically told me about why they need this done right away, um, that means it's priority one as opposed to something that I can push off and wait, you know, another week or two or whatever, right? Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can get started right now in Notion, building what um, we've come to refer to as a, a central hub so that, uh, again, you, you, you achieve that perfect balance between having what you need at your fingertips and not being overwhelmed with so much information that you don't even know where to begin. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something here and had some fun along the way. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.